I just turned round and I brought it round this way. Yeah. Then I saw Brian, I started my run from here. Yeah, yeah. And I played it up to him. And that's really would that I mean, be a line, Rob? Would that be a line? I didn't yeah, this is the line here. And I didn't I didn't um aim for top corner or anything Ron, can like I just that. Say, wouldn't you be I'm only just I don't know, you're wouldn't you be too, I'm just looking just at your a, angle when the ball goes yeah. in the top corner. Yes. yes. Yes, better. It's just, I would have left, more, more just right of centre. Yeah, right of centre. And I've started yes, running yeah. from here, and I'd, I'd just got probably six or seven strides yes, that way. Yeah, yeah. And it come back off Brian's shin, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just hit it, and I yeah. knew, I knew as soon as I hit left it. Left foot. We all did. It, it was going in, and I'd already started my run. Yes, yeah. I yeah, just know yeah, that it, yeah. it just was going in. Everybody like, you know, knew that, didn't it? Your contact was brilliant. Right, yeah. A muddy day that day, yeah. but his contact couldn't have visit, couldn't have visited any sweeter, any harder, no, no. any truer. Bang! It's like, that out. it's like in any sport. Yeah, if you, if yeah. you hit the things off the middle, yeah. then you don't yeah, feel it, do you? Right, no. And uh, mm. and then, yeah, of course, yeah, the yeah. amazing thing happened. The the yeah. crowd. Yeah, absolutely yeah, fantastic yeah. and um, never experienced anything no. like that have we no. and um, and when I watch it today and I look and I try and look at different people's faces mm -hmm. and what that moment was to a lot of people here to see them so mm, happy yeah, yeah. I mean it's just the more yeah. you see it the more you know, just like yesterday, just like yesterday, yesterday. just like yeah. yesterday, and just like um, yesterday. you know, mm. I, you look around mm. now, mm. and you can, I've seen it that many times mm. that I can see all them kids around there, and yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. they came on, and the the, the mm. people that's come up to me over the years and said, and said, you know, this is me. Look, if you look mm. at the photographs, the the recordings, this is me. I'm stood there like you mm. know, and. <laughs> and a lovely oh. thing about that, Ron, it, you know, the his golf flies in, and the kids just come from everywhere. Yeah, and they everywhere. ran on, not a problem. No. Nobody arrested no. and ran off, yeah. Ron, didn't they? But this guy, said, this guy told us never to give up, and we'd already done that at West Brom. That's right. When yes. We, when when we Ken Malander yet. struck his goal in injury time, time he said, he always said we don't stop until that final whistle sure. and sure. and i must admit when it when it happened and i i was up there uh, just up there when goal went in and i can remember i was so <clears throat> angry that we got that far yes and yes. if you can remember i, I was coming across and i was urging mm -hmm. you know like uh, you do like 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 we did like you do and yeah. we i started straight away as soon as it went in mm -hmm. and um the crowd went from silence to oh, unbelievable noise, noise, and noise, the noise level. noise level and to Amazing. be fair you know mm. it, was, mm. it was mostly us in second half yes, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. and we knew when that goal went in you watch the Newcastle players Just went down like because that. they walked away from that end thinking they'd done it mm. and they did which is a natural yeah, reaction yeah, yeah. at that late in game. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what captures the imagination that's is right. that we'd played so well. And Motti's comment is absolutely brilliant because his commentary is, says, that's it, mm. meaning, meaning that's, that's it, it. It's all over. That's it, it's all six over. minutes, can't, can't do it now. And, and Ronnie, was, Ronnie, it was a great goal, wasn't it? The build well, up down yeah. the right and the yeah. crossing. You still see the cross going in. And as I'm looking in, I couldn't, yeah. but Ken Mallon and myself are the nearest to it, but he's put a great ball in, Ronnie. Yeah, crossed yeah. into the ball. But the, but when you when I'm looking up and all I can see is that big figure of one Malcolm McDonald. Yeah. Bump. Yeah. One chance. Yeah. One magnificent header. Yeah. Bump. Yeah. Down they went, everybody went, yeah. just momentarily. But then momentarily. He made it momentarily, that was all. Let's but, go. Uh, and back we came. Roll your sleeves up. Yeah, yeah. And then, second half of injury time, I can remember when we kick off for second half of injury time. He's there and he's saying, just get that ball in the box. Just <laughs> keep there. it up in that end and get yeah. the ball in the box, Let's didn't go. you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know, and then, then you know, we won each, and um, and we, 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 we could see the 
the, the effect that it had had on, on uh, Newcastle because they thought they'd won it and uh, their heads went down and um, I tell you what we were flying then and we, I, I, I honestly believe that we knew we were going to win this because we were still kicking downhill and and they were finding it harder and harder and when you looked at the two sides for fitness we were running as strong as what they were and these are international players who are full time and that's if you look at it uh, and you watch the whole game the whole the way through we competed we, 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 we didn't let them settle and um, you know Kept uh, going, Ron. It, it were, kept it were, going. It, and it was that team spirit that yeah, yeah. you you really don't get it that often in your clubs that you've paid for. You can you can do that, but once in a lifetime you can get in a team where you know everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to do their job for mm. each other because. He would have stood not. I mean, when you think he only did it with 15 players. 15 players, right? 15 yeah. players sure we had. he had. And yeah. we, we went through all them games. Yes. Uh, three, yeah. three games against Re the Premier Division teams. and um, Lots of replays, Ron, didn't we? Lots of replays. Lots of replays. And Cheltenham, uh, not Cheltenham, sorry. Uh, yeah. uh, Kings Lynn Kings was Lynn. a replay. Northampton, Two, three games. Three games, yeah. Who was the other one? Yeah. Was there another one at the first... Um, no, we beat no, we Cheltenham. Beat Cheltenham. We beat yeah. Cheltenham, didn't we, Cheltenham? But uh, 7,000 at West Brom. Yeah. Crowd. Lovely. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah. I think I think Northampton had about 1,000, didn't they? Yeah. They and all it. you could hear were, yeah. were, were, were our fans at... Uh, and, That's right. And, and, and Malinder, you'd never see him run as fast, did you? <laughs> when he scored. Yeah. If yeah, you look at it, all yeah, thing, because yeah, we all that's said it. afterwards, that's, you know, the fastest you've that's the fastest you've ever run. Like, score you know, a few more, celebrating Ken. Score like a that. few more. Right. Yeah. I'm looking at this place here, and and that is about exactly where I hit it from. I can remember coming out of the circle, and Brian laying it off, and I just got my head down, and um, you know, I just hit it, and I could tell as soon as I hit it that there were no way we were going to get it and I'd already started my run and um, then the kids come on and that's history and um, a wonderful part of history with for the crowd and and for the people and um, you know it's uh, it's just what they deserve yeah how did it make you feel make me feel make me feel I felt humble afterwards because um, you know, uh, it had such a, a reaction, and um, you know, to see so many people happy, uh, you know, that's what football's supposed to be about is making people happy, you enjoying it as well. But when you see the, and come across a crowd like we've had all these years, I mean, this last three seasons have been fantastic, and um, that shows you what the Hereford people think their football teams and um, we were lucky to have experienced that and um, home or away in the cup um, it was amazing and uh, I, I'll never forget at Newcastle um, they were still coming into ground when we actually scored Brian Owen and um, uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable really I think there were about 6,000 that had travelled up trains buses you know and um, that kind of support you you know it's it's really special and for me today i'm 46 years on from that and you know the things that i'm experiencing even today for what I, me and my wife have experienced in our visits to hereford we just feel so part of the, the hereford people and um, you know, everybody's so friendly, and they, 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 they even their grandchildren, they keep coming and saying, you know, and asking for autographs, and and that is really truly amazing. And uh, after the match, um, I, I always there were little that little room over there, that side of the the, the the bench there, that was the ladies' room, that our wives' room, and I remember I came out and um, uh, I went into the room and. Uh, I said to Annie, you know, uh, come on, you know, let's get home. And uh, 
because we'd we'd been talking and that for quite a while after the game and um, uh, we went home and when we got to there when we got home we, we called it a fish and chip shop and um, then we sat and couldn't wait until match of the day and uh, we had some friends down that uh, come down and I think my my phone never stopped ringing until until I took it off the hill to watch match of the day and uh, amazing experience really because I'd never seen myself run I've never seen myself how I looked and um, I thought to myself I don't really run like that do I I don't really look like that when I and you know just for somebody who's never done anything like that before it just it, uh, and I, I feel every year for, for, for giant killers because you know it's a once in a lifetime thing for them even the first round proper is um, you know is a dream come true for everybody who plays at the lower divisions and um, and you've only got to look at the crowds that you know that that, that come when the FA Cup comes around you know they always get bigger crowds than what probably they do in the league and um, that's what's so special about about the FA Cup is that it's 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 a competition for everybody who plays football and um, long may it be so and um, I'm sure that every year there's people go away with memories like me and uh, we'll never forget it you know and um, that can only be good for game really yeah Ricky uh, couldn't have been uh, I mean Ricky he, he were in a position where all the way through the cup run he had to sit on that bench and watch most of the game pass by and um, when he ran on I thought I thought I just thought at the time I thought it's a lovely Ricky if you could you know just just do it for us I didn't mm. actually say that to him but we all felt that being substitute <clears throat> was the worst thing that you could have uh, when you got a game like we had or, or games like we had and for him to come on and 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 be able to score the winner he'll have forgotten mm. all about the other thing and um, we True. were absolutely delighted yeah. for him weren't we and he did well and, didn't and, he uh, and uh, you know and he did well ronnie yeah. and, he, and he did he, he yeah he gives a little lift you, you substitutes then he gives a little lift Played him where he wanted to be at wide. He was very good. To only one on yeah, one, taking yeah. people on, and had a yeah. trick in his yeah. in his locker, so as to speak. Yeah. And uh, and when he just beat, the, I'm just trying to think. Would it be Frank Clark? I think did he beat Frank Clark? Yeah. Well, uh, what just happened? Bobby Moncur, uh, Dudley came in, and I think actually, the ball. actually he didn't play it. I think he he, he did it. He was going to have a shot at goals, and he, he it went straight to Ricky there. Yeah. And Ricky, he got it, and his first touch actually bounced away from him, and and it looked as though Bobby Moncour would get it, get but it, Bobby was, right. Bobby Moncour were too far away from him, and of course, but by that time Ricky had turned round, turned round. Yes, he, and he, his head were down, and he just hit it hit across it. the goals, and he'll tell you always try and hit it across the face of the goals because the keeper gets yeah. an hand to it, we've got a chance, and. Yeah. Um, uh, but of course, it, it went all the way through. All the way to the side the netting, net, didn't it? And the place just went absolutely and it was wild, fun, didn't it? it? And this <laughs> fella here, I felt for him because, um, you with, know. There was bodies everywhere, Ron. Yeah. All I can think, I think whether yeah. it was Frank Clark or not, but it just broke nicely for us, and that's how it was. But but we put the people in there, didn't we? Yeah. The bodies as it broke for him. Well, and I can then, remember when it happened, Colin, it got it, where a ball got knocked out, and, and having just scored a goal, uh, it, it dropped to me, mm. and and I, there were a little bit of a groan that you I didn't hit it fair, but, I but it weren't right for hitting. So <laughs> I just I just stopped the ball. I just give it to to Dudley. Mm. He were outside. Mm. Yeah. He cut inside, and, and as I say, yeah, I but you he tried to have a shot, and um, and Ricky turned mm. and and really and you didn't want to shoot anyway because it wasn't far enough out, <laughs> were you? <laughs> Twenty-five yarder. You wanted yeah. one on the halfway line, but. Yeah, yeah. But it but, did, it uh, broke. Yeah. But, but Ron, we made those things happen, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, Unlucky, yeah. lucky, 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 yeah. lucky. We made the things happen yeah. and we were there and we took advantage and uh, and he drilled it lovely off his oh, left yeah, foot, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he Flew did. past Mick Paul, well, he low on the ground. Foot, Couldn't right, get to right it, Ron, foot, could he? Right foot. And, it and that went, was it. It went in, 
Yeah. Went in just just yeah. halfway between there and yeah. goals, yeah. And, and right from that position yeah. there. And um, like with the two goals, Ron, you could hear the, they say you could hear the crowd, you could hear the roar in Ross and Why in Lemster. Yeah, you know, not half, you could yeah. hear not half. And then the kids. Yeah. They're the kids. Yeah. There they come. Yeah. There they come yeah. again. And they go. Yeah, I can remember. I can remember exactly where I were. Um, and I can show you where the ball went in the net and where it finished up and um, I can remember the run afterwards and I can remember the crowd and everything and uh, you know how can anybody experience better than that and um, it's lived with us for, oh, for a long oh. long time hasn't it that, that uh, we went on and won the game and um, when the ball finally went out and the whistle went I think it went out round there. Um, <coughs> oh, unbelievable, mm. it? Never forget it, yeah, Rob. Yeah, never, never forget, forget it. it. Yeah. It's mentioned every day. I mean, I live in the city and, and have a walk, I play golf and mix with people still, and it, it'll get a mention yeah. once a day. But once a day, and I say, in this day, it's a lot. Once a day. Yeah. Never forget so and so, Newcastle, Colin, whatever. Ronnie Radford's goal. Yeah. Yeah. Ronnie Radford's goal. Yeah. And I, and I always go, don't forget Ricky. Don't yeah. forget Tricky Ricky as yeah. well, but um, never forget his goal. Always no. gets mentioned. Always will do. Yeah. They'll never ever forget it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, right? you know, a wonderful you experience. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, you and, you, and you know what I always said in my, my stock line to it, and I, and I say it now and I say it regularly, is even if they've had three keepers on the line, <laughs> it's still going in the top <laughs> corner. Marty said, didn't Still he going says, in the top corner. He says, there's no keeper in the world would have stopped that in his commentary. Absolutely, so absolutely. You yeah. see them every week, you see these goals Great every goals. week, yeah. but mm. you know, it's still nice to, to be one Lovely. that you can, oh, you can remember me, like me. that. When it, when it got to this stage, you know, where I struck it, that, that is about the position, the height that it, it was when it went in. But thinking about, you know, the trajectory of it, it was still going up, and it, it finished, it oh, finished right in the top. Yeah. about there, and it looked as though it had gone in the top corner, but it was still going up, and um, I, I, I can remember people t asking me about it and, and telling me that those that were stood behind the goals saying that ball were coming straight to me, and uh, mm. they said, you yeah. know, what? They knew it were in as soon as I hit it, and, and, and the crowd knew that, like you know, and uh, and uh, the goalkeeper, I mean, he were over here. There's a wonderful, wonderful shot by the the cameraman there, and he's horizontal, mm. and the goalie, it, bit bit time it got to there, he was he was only about here, and he's horizontal like mm. that, and it's a wonderful goalkeeping picture of it. But he's absolutely Full nowhere, stretch. and um, uh, he, he said later on, he said he hoped that one day he'll get far enough across to to, <laughs> to knock it wide. But uh, that's Ian McFall for you, yeah, yeah. yeah.